with his word. When he says something new, he is meaning it. He cannot contradict That's himself. Significant. Yeah. Man, I want to be significant. Yeah. I don't want to go to a wedding where a long time is a wedding. I'm a praise him like I'm on top of the mountain. While I'm on the valley, I'm a praise him like I got it all together. It doesn't matter whether they are believing you, whether they are loving you, whether there is no position for you, whether there is no door open for you. I'm telling you, keep knocking every and before the chiefs and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not amongst the company of those that gathered themselves against God. He was not, a, he was not in the company of Korah, uh, but he died of his own sin. And he had no sons. You have to mark that. He had no sons. So he died, but he never left sons at all. Verse number four. Why should then the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no son? Give us therefore our inheritance amongst our father's brothers. So Moses brought their case. Verse five. Are you following my reading? Yeah. Yeah. Moses brought their case before their God, the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, verse 7, the daughters of Zelophehad have a right and have spoken the right thing. You shall give them their possession of the inheritance among their father's brothers and transfer the inheritance of their father to them. Verse number 8, and you shall speak to the people of Israel, saying, if now, from now, from today, if a man dies, and does not leave sons or a son, then you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughters. And if he has no, daughter, and if he has no daughters at all, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. Father, anoint this word, release grace to minister in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look to someone and tell him it is my time to receive my blessing. If your neighbor is not cooperating enough, forget about him. Look for the one who can cooperate. Tell him it is my season to see God. And I'm expecting from the Lord. This is my time. When you cross your mouth, you're crossing your destiny. Someone say, This is my time. The devil is a liar. Whatever I miss, I have come to claim it now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to speak from a thought and look your season and claim it. And look your season and claim it. And look your moment and claim it. Um, one of the, the grace that God has released on my life, and he told me, when he called me, I was just 17 years of age, and I had the story of Pastor a warrior. it's interesting, and it's, you know, I thought I had a scary story until I had one of Cassava, of, uh, of the Cassava flag, amen. amen. And that was an interesting part of his story. But listen, all of us have drawn ourselves from a place, and where we are, we can testify that God is still God. Yes, you see, sometimes we talk about the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, God of David, and it seems like it's a fast story. But when you hear your own God, do I have anybody in this service who knows that where I am, it has been God? Anybody who knows it is not your degree, it is not your English accent, it is not your potential. It has been the grace of God for you to be where you are right now. Such people should give God a better praise. Because you see, the reason why your neighbor can never understand your praise is because your neighbor will never understand your pain. You see, if you don't know my pain, you can never know why I praise. Nobody understands your story. We all see you walking here, but we don't understand what you have overcome, where you have come from, why you are where you are. We can judge you for what you have done, but we don't understand you could have been worse. I feel like quitting already. By the grace of God, I feel in my 
my spirit that everyone in this service, just because you're here in this summer of 2016, we have a testimony already. Receive 
with what belongs to you. Because we know, and it is true for real, that everything that pertains to life and godliness, God has already provided. But we have to connect ourselves to that which God has already done. It is like having a swimming pool right now in the other room. The swimming pool can cool you, but it won't cool you unless you go and swim. It's not because it is not there. It is already provided for. But it takes a part of you to connect to what God has already provided for. That's why many of us have misunderstood the message of the grace. The grace does not take you on holiday. It actually makes you work more. But not on merits. But on understanding that it's already done for me. That's why the Bible says we are saved by grace, but through faith. Because grace is what he has provided. Faith is my responsibility. Can I help you tonight? Can I help you tonight? Faith is my responsibility. But grace is what he has already done. So I cannot sit back and say, I will not pray because grace. I will not laugh because grace. I will not give because grace. Then you have a partial understanding of grace. But the full understanding of grace says, I know he has already done it. So let me enter it by faith. So they give every tribe, they gave the Reubenites, uh, they gave the Levites, the Levites have a portion, they gave God, they gave every tribe, Judah got his portion, everybody got a portion, the Levites God said, the Levites were the ministers, the priests where everyone comes from, he said for you your portion is myself. Manasseh had so many problems. Mm. 
That even when a time came for them to take their lands, they told them, you go and, and search for yourselves. Mm. So Manasseh had a trait of struggle, just like the Reubenites. Mm. There was a struggle in, the, in their lives. But the portion where we are, they are five girls of a man called Zerubbabel for Pepper Day. That name is her. You put there your father's name. <laughs> These girls are five of one died who had no sons. And the man dies in the wilderness. Did you hear that? He died in the process. Look to someone and tell them you will not die in the wilderness. I, I want to declare tonight everybody on the journey to where you're going, you are not collapsing on the way. Now, at the house of inspiration, there they say, Big Amen. I said, You are not dying along the way. By the grace of Jesus, you will arrive where you're supposed to be. There are spirits and demons in hell that can allow you to start but never finish. Die on the way. You are frustrated, you are confused. People die along the way and the demons that are sent to keep you in the wilderness. But I prophesy by the masses of God, you are not dying on the way. Everybody at the sound of my voice, you shall arrive. And you will arrive alive. Somebody said hallelujah. So he died. And sometimes when our fathers die, or, or God calls us to pick up from where they have fallen. Because if you read the scripture, Terah, the father of Abraham, was going to Canaan. But he died at Haran. He died on the way he had to call. That's why at 75, God calls Abraham. He says, take from your father and go to Canaan, the promised land. Mm -hmm. Which I believe that what your father couldn't do, you shall do. Amen. Where your father never went, you shall go. No, somebody is, is doing that, that make up a man. Yeah. No, I want a serious one. I said, where your father never went, you shall go. Amen. 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 Now, <clears throat> so these cows, they're fire. And the law is set. The law says if a man dies and has no sons, these inheritance will be given to his brothers. Mm. So the guards now are going to be disqualified. Mm -hmm. The Lord sent me to come and talk to a disqualified person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of us were born disqualified. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And that if anyone ever thought of anybody, you are not a man. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Do you know a time can come even when your whole family can disqualify you? Oh, yes. Someone who goes to the house of Jesse and he wants to anoint a king in that house. And he calls every son and God says, mm -hmm. And someone says, do you have any other sons? Mm -hmm. Jesse says, I do, but there's a little boy. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's the one that you want. But yet the one who was disqualified yeah. is the one that God wants to qualify. Yeah. Yeah. You see, the thing about God, he does not care how you begin out in life. Yes. But as long as you choose him on this journey, he will take you all the way. Yeah. These girls, because they are girls, the law is disqualifying them. Mm -hmm. There are things that people don't talk about in your life, but they know you can never have them. Some of the greatest demons you can never see in any atmosphere is when you begin to succeed. <clears throat> you see, everybody can be your friend when you're failing. Because, <clears throat> sorry, the partner with you, they say sorry, but, I mean, someone please. Say, I've been preaching a long time on, on this road this month. <clears throat> so my voice is losing up. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. No. Oh my God. <clears throat> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> God have mercy on my voice. All right. Amen. 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 So, the cows are disqualified, and they cannot get an inheritance. And I was telling you that you can always see demons in life when you begin to succeed. <clears throat> when you are not succeeding, nobody cares. 
when you succeed, <clears throat> now they begin to talk about you. You are illuminati, you go underwater, you do all this kind of thing. <laughs> when you are not doing anything, nobody cares. Like for example, I'll tell you, you see, you still few. You may have a few haters, but you wait. When you buy the next building, everyone's going to say those guys have another power. <laughs> In fact, I know Pastor Wuri very well. Someone who's talking about I know him. That man at midnight, he goes underwater. <laughs> when, I, <clears throat> when I married my wife, she was from another church. But you know, because they had written so much about our church, he said, honey, I want to ask you a question. So you said, don't, don't lie to me. I said, nah. Do you? Because in, in the news, <laughs> they, they had written, they had written before that Pastor Chibwe was here, this pastor assistant, who was me, that before they go to church, they have a room in their office with, with, with zip codes where they enter. And when they enter there, that is the access route to underwater. So they enter, and then when they come out, they come out with unusual powers. And sometimes it's funny that people would believe some of the stupidest things. I mean, even the intellect of the world will believe the least of the things. Mm -hmm. Like someone says, you go and stand by the river of the, the by the riverside, all two eggs here, one here, <laughs> one there. Then you make it, then you wait, and then some power pulls you, it takes you under water, and you meet the queen of the sea. Mm -hmm. For me, when I had that story, I said, no, I'm not going to get two eggs. I want to buy a whole tree. <laughs> and, I, and I want to stay. Because if it is about finding fortune, why not? Let me take a whole tree. <laughs> waited by the shore, and I waited, and nobody came for me. Amen. <laughs> but the thing is this, is that when you have walked your story of your life, people begin to associate you with darkness. Mm. Because people have lost faith in God. They don't believe that every perfect gift comes from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we have this conversation with you, I'll tell you so many things. That even people that you see in the world, that we have given to the devil, we are of God. Mm -hmm. that's okay, true. That's, true. that's for next time. But <clears throat> people hate success. You dare call your, your aunt in the village. Next month, I tell her, you have found a husband. You're going to be shocked that all the demons of hell will rise all of a sudden. <laughs> Yet they have been asking you, your mommy will later day. But when you say you're getting married, everybody rises because nothing on earth enjoys success. Yeah. And that's why if you want to succeed, you have to know you're resting against so much. And you have to choose in your spirit that I'm going to get what God said I can have. Yeah. There are laws in place that forbid us from becoming great. Some of us, because of the color of our skin, there is a place that no we can end in life. Mm -hmm. Some of us were born disqualified. I'm telling you the truth. In my father's house, I've shared this before. Nobody, I don't remember if there is, maybe nobody I remember. I can't even remember sitting back in my father's house and someone made, makes a phone call. And he's telling you that nobody in my father's house that I remember, even a phone call, from the village, uh, there's, there's someone who's calling and saying, I'm calling from England, or I'm calling from UK, not even Congo. <laughs> and then and they say, come and pick your, your uncle's phone call. Uncle wants to say, hello, uncle is in Congo. <laughs> I even shared with people, I told them one day, my uncle shared with me and it's a true story, and he didn't know what he was doing to me because he was opening my eyes. He said, hey, mutama ni kuyo tamale ya mawanga. You're doing so well, God bless you. But you, you know, you know my dad died, so he said, you, you, your dad was a good man, he paid for his school fees. But you know what, one day, when I hear you, you're in America, you're in Asia, you're in Europe, I, I say, my man, yeah, our son. But do you know that one time, I was at the border of Kenya, Nairobi, in the year 1982, that's what he was sharing with me. 1982, I was standing in the borderline, Kenya, Nairobi. And the soldier who was on the other side looked at me and just spotted me out just randomly. Said, you man in blue, you will not enter. <laughs> Says, go back. <laughs> there is the opportunity. The soldier told him, you, you don't qualify. Yeah. So I'm born disqualified to travel. Amen. And some of you, the reason why you're struggling so much 
It's because everything, you are the alpha. Mm. You are the beginning of these things. Yes, sir. <laughs> Has ever been there where you are right now. Amen. That's why even where you are, it has been. Yeah. You have arrived, but you say, hey, can I do this one more time? Yeah. Because you have come a long way to come where you are. Some people in your house have never built a house. Yeah. People have never, people didn't even drive cars. Yeah. Sometimes you even sit in it here right now in the US. And it's a new model. And one day for you, you are the right person to try it. Amen. Why am, I, why am I the one? <laughs> because you were born disqualified. Amen. But just because we are girls, Amen. just because we were born in poor families, just because we don't speak as a language, it doesn't qualify you, disqualify you when it comes to God. Amen. And the girls came to Moses and to Eliezer. I want to close. And they say, Moses, we have a case. Mm. Five girls came to plead their case. Amen. It is time yes. to take what belongs to you. Yes. It is time to plead your case in God. Yes. The devil is a liar. Yes. Whatever the law has denied you, Christ is about to give to you. Yes. Somebody shout, yes. yes. Lift your hands, I receive. Yes.
Tell us, say, Lord, Lord, I receive from you now what the world had denied me. Every family spirit holding me back, I declare now is my season to receive the blessing. Some shall yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm done preaching. Huh? I'm done preaching. <clears throat> I'm going to minister to you for a few minutes. I want to pray for some people. I want you to speak a word of God over your life. Amen. I, I believe that when God brings us all the way to come from Uganda, I know he wants to, to do something. And every time God sends a prophetic word, there's a recipient. It's not everybody, but there's somebody. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'm here for somebody. Maybe some of you have been, have been struggling with, you know, family things, you know. Uh, traits that have been failing and even you, you it's hard to break you break through today and tomorrow you, you are struggling because the, 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 the law is set we don't qualify, we don't do this can't forget one day we used to have so many people in our family who used to give birth outside of our marriage of their marriages or, or never even married and um, but we used to have a grandmother and one of the reasons why she was alive was to always check on his uncles of mine when they bring their kids to them. She would live with them for a while and confirm if they are ours or not. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, it was a trade, and I'm serious by now. So sometimes my grandmother would just look at the feet, at the ears, at the hands, and, and, she, and then she would say, So, 12 of one. <laughs> You know, like this. She would just look at them and just go. And once she says it, whoever is, is, in, is responsible will say, okay, that is our child. But this is the point that it's possible to even come from backgrounds like that when you were rejected from birth. You had to, 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 to be checked if you are, or if your dad is your father. It doesn't matter. When you come to Christ, you can claim your portion through the word of God. That's the power of prayer. Prayer is asking God, is activating the hand of God into our daily situations. Mm -hmm. It's to get God to work in our lives. Amen. I want to pray with some people here tonight. I feel a prophetic sending for somebody. Amen. And I believe that even if it is one person here, God is going to turn loose your season now and give you what the world has denied you for years. Mm -hmm. A simple prayer like this change their season. Amen. Bible says that Moses said they can have their, 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 their inheritance. Yeah. Do you know that, the, that what God does is permanent? Permanent. You, you never stop. Once you overcome something with God, it is done. Amen. Amen. That will never be your struggle again. Amen. It doesn't mean the challenges don't come, but that particular one mm. will be done forever. Amen. Amen. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Rise up. Lift your hands in the air and say, Father, Father, I thank you for this season. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for the old. Whatever I was denied, every satanic law, every law of nature, every traditional culture that has kept me from my blessing, whether in me, whether against me, whatever holds me back from truly enjoying the life of Christ. Lord, I pray that today that law shall be broken. I activate a higher law through Christ. I declare by his blood I'm a, I'm a champion in the name of Jesus. Now, for, for 60 seconds, you're going to open your mouth and pray. Tell God that thing that you want to see done. Open your mouth and declare. I don't know what it is. Play some on time. Those keyboard, those keys from your on the keyboard. I don't, I don't know what it is that you want to see God do. But right now, God is in place to do what no one can do for you. For you. I release the anointing. Serious with his word. When he says something new, he is meaning it. Mm. He cannot contradict you. Significant. Yes. Man, I want to be significant. Yes. I don't want to go to a wedding where a long time is wedding. wedding is. Yes. Oh, babe, I'm going to write a wedding. Come on. It is not like a wedding. It's full of valley. Valley. I'm a praise him like I'm on top of the mountain. While I'm on the valley. I'm a praise him like I got it all together. I saw it out, I saw it out, I saw it out.